Thank you, JR. Well, this morning, I know it's after lunch, and many of you are fighting the sleepies. So I'm going to pass around a bag of Tootsie Pops. So pick out your best color. And since it's my bag, I'm going first. So I picked out one. Tracy and Kat, pick out one and just pick them around. And as they're picking out a Tootsie Pop, feel free to unwrap it and pick a few sex on it this afternoon if you're feeling a bit sleepy. And while that bag's going around, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Every single time I would see a Tootsie Roll bag of various colors of Tootsie Pops go by, I always pick orange. Every single time. Now why? Why did God program me to always take an orange one? I don't know. That's just the way I am. That's my divine design. So every time I was taking orange with it, and I don't know what color you will all take each time, but probably you're going to take one that has something to do with your divine design as well. I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm just kind of an average person. I went through life um, surviving, married, family, children, job, just doing things to get through life. And um, so all those things were good things, but I never really understood why I was doing what I was doing until <clears throat> one day I met JR and Buffy at Quinn Hot Springs. In the hot springs! I was sitting right next to them. Never, never underestimate where God takes you. Never underestimate who he asks you to talk to. I know Terry and Tracy and Kat. There was a reason why I was talking to you guys for, at lunch today. I'm not sure what it was yet, but they'll come up. For some reason, will come to mind sometime. Well, that day, I was sent by J.R. and Buffy in the hot springs, at Quinn Hot Springs, while my husband went back to our room, and we went to check out. And the lady said, did you get everything out of your room? I looked at him, he looked at me, I realized, and he forgot to pick it up. So he went back to get it, and I went in the hot springs to wait for him, and lo and behold, who was in here? J.R. and Buffy. Got to talking, just like I talked to Tracy and Kat and Terry during lunch, and that connection brought me to brush fires. So I started evaluating what I'd done in life. Had a, a great family, I had four great kids. I homeschooled for 16 years, quite an accomplishment. While well, I worked full time, developed a family business called Furniture Doctors. Married a great guy who is a refiner. We're still married, even though he is a refiner. And I am not. I'm a creative developer. So that in and of itself is a divine inspiration from the Lord. But he retired two or three years ago from our business. Our daughter is now the prime owner of the Furniture Doctors. And last December, I retired. And I thought, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? What does God want me to do? I have this orange Tootsie Pop, and I always pick orange. But what's God going to have me do with my orange Tootsie Pop now? Well, I felt called to contact the people at Union Gospel Mission. I love that ministry. I just love what they stand for. I've known several people through the years that have been greatly helped by them. So I volunteered to be part of that ministry. And this was after I had gone through the Brush Fires class. So after I had gotten my purpose statement, which is, I must be free. i got to be free. Must and free are important words for me in that. So I must be free to creatively identify and achieve goals and lead in an innovative manner. They nailed it. They helped me nail what my purpose was. 
and that I must be free is big. I try to be free to go do my thing. So I waltz into the Union Gospel Mission, knowing what my divine design is and my purpose statement. And they need somebody. They need somebody in there to help them. And this is what they're looking for. Someone who is somewhat creative. Someone who could develop a program. Someone who could identify goals. Someone who could achieve goals. And someone who could lead in an innovative manner. Can you believe it? All those words, all those words were me. So anyway, God has allowed me to help with developing some programs there to lead and direct. And I've had a chance to transform some situations that they had going that we could hone in and maybe make a little bit better. And in all of that, able to impact and change people's lives. So let me tell you, if you're ever in the hot springs at Quinn, <laughs> pay attention to who you're sitting next to. If you're ever anywhere, if you're ever doing anything, there's a reason. God has a plan for you. And whatever touchy roll pop you picked, that's part of your design as well. Thank you.